All right, YouTube. Matt M. Roy back again. Well, as you can see, I really couldn't wait to do a video specifically about this iMac. If you guys have seen my um, Garage Sale Finds video for this week, you already know that I picked this up today. It is a iMac G4, 800 megahertz. As far as I know, it's still stock it has the 256 megabytes of ram uh 60 gigabyte hard drive and a cd burner possibly dvd rom i'm not sure uh just going over it real quick this is the g4 so this is what they call the lampshade model optical drive is under here don't know if it works yet um, in the back here, you have your standard ports, and I'll, you can watch my other video, I go over more in depth, but display port, three USB uh, one ports, modem, a removable power port, Ethernet, got two Firewire ports, headphone microphone, and Kensington lock port. So what I'm going to do right now is I want to see what actually happens. I did boot this up when I was at the garage sale, and it came to a screen that asked for a password. So I know already I'm going to have to reinstall um, Tiger on this, because that's the highest you can put on here is OS 10.4 Tiger. And I was looking through my old Mac discs, which I do have right here. And as you can see, I do have... OS uh, 1046 Tiger on here. I can use this to reinstall the operating system and then just get the updates from uh, Apple's server. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and give this a try. Power button is right here. good sound. You always want to hear that apple bong. The apple came up. Just waiting for that little circle to start rotating. Oh, there we go. I don't really hear the hard drive, so I'm thinking more hoping the hard drive didn't go bad on this. Like I said, I tried it at the uh, garage shell and it was boot booting up just fine there. That's really strange. It should have booted up by now. Huh. I'm going to let it go for a minute. I'll pause the video and we'll check back on it in a couple of minutes. Alright, so I let it uh, try and boot for a couple minutes. It took about 5 or 10 minutes and then it came up to this screen. Mac OS X, but for some reason it's in the safe mode. Now, one thing I didn't try when I was there, I just assumed that there was a password because I was asking for one, but I didn't try just hitting enter thinking maybe they just left it blank. So, let's go ahead and give that a try. Okay. Let's just click log in and see what happens. Oh. Will it work? I have to use this. The optical mouse doesn't track properly on this table. Ah, oh, look at that! It came up! Not sure why it took so long though. That was kind of interesting. But yeah, this is farther than I've gotten before. So you can see we're up to the finder. Yeah, it doesn't look like they have too, too much installed on here. Let's go to About This Mac and see exactly what we have in here. Wow. Okay, it is an 800 megahertz PowerPC G4, but as you can see, they've definitely upgraded the memory because it states. Well, right on the bottom, this only came with 256 megabytes of RAM. Someone's upgraded to 768, so bonus there, yeah. Let's go into more info and see what we got. I have a big suspicion that the hard drive in here is failing, because it should not have taken that long to come up. As you can see, it came up to the hard drive itself. It is the 60 gigabytes, which I kind of figured. It's the ST 3600-20A. Uh, looking for an internet connection, which is kind of interesting because as you saw before, I do have the ethernet cable plugged into the back. 
might be having an issue with my switch, but uh, we'll deal with that in just a minute. Wow, they definitely have a bunch of stuff stored on here. The lady I bought this from said that uh, she used it for music. And as you can see, there's only uh, 20 gigabytes free. So let's go ahead and boot, reboot this computer real quick and see if it comes up any quicker. It was kind of strange because, like I said, oh, you can see my little thumb there. <laughs> it was kind of strange because, like I said, when I booted it up there and I did it twice, it came up just fine. It's odd only now that it's taken a while to boot, but that's what happens because I believe these use um, laptop style IDE drives. would be a two and a half inch uh, IDE drive, but I'll have to double check on that because I'm not 100% sure. Let's see what happens. Let's see if she boots it up. Seems like it's quicker. taking a while. Might have a corrupted OS. I mean, I, you know, it's possible it, you know, the hard drive might be just fine, but with a system of this age, when you start having slow boots and errors like that, you really start to think it's the hard drive. But Mac is supposed to be able to test that. I know that it does a diagnostic before the system even boots. So I would think that something would be coming up saying, hard, your hard drive is failing, need to replace it. But it might be in that little gray area where the hard drive is just starting to go bad, but it's not bad enough to trip the um, security on the Mac. I don't know if you guys can hear it or not. I can hear the hard drive working. Still taking a lot longer to boot than it did the first time. When I first booted, I mean, by now, it was it was like that. Because, you know, it's just OS X Tiger, and there's not a lot that has to load. Well, I'm going to let it sit for a couple of minutes, and I'm going to do a little bit of research and see what I might have to do to change this drive out. Well, I guess I'm wrong. Thanks to a YouTube user, Mac User Guide Video Channel, um... He showed me that this does indeed use a standard 3.5 inch uh, desktop style hard drive. You can see the one that he's pulling out of his uh, iMac G4 right now. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure which speed it is, but it's definitely of a similar model to mine. And as you can see, mine over there is still booting up. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to reinstall... Um, Window of uh, the Windows. Ugh. I'm gonna try to reinstall Mac OS 10 Tiger on it before I do anything else because it's still possible it could be a corrupted OS. Um, go ahead and do that, and if that doesn't work, I guess we'll be digging in and putting a new hard drive in. For those of you that don't know, if you have a keyboard like this older one that does not have an eject button on it, and you want to eject the CD tray as soon as the computer starts. What you can do is push and hold the mouse button down. So I'm going to turn it on. And I'm just going to hold down the mouse button until the CD tray pops out. And that's it. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn it off real quick. Because I don't, do not want it to boot into the operating system. I'm going to go ahead and put in my Mac OS 10.4.6. This is Tiger. I'll go ahead and reboot the computer now. And then I believe you just need to hold down the C key for it to read from the uh, to boot from the CD drive instead of the uh, hard drive, the internal hard drive. That's if this optical drive even works. I'm not sure that it does. It's trying. I'm trying to read, but I don't know if it's actually doing it or not. All right. Well, that first disk didn't work. It just finally booted into the operating system. So, so I got my second OS X uh, Tiger disk, and this one is showing up. So we're gonna go ahead and give this installation one more try. Double click on that, and we'll go ahead and click restart. And let's see what happens. I think this operating system is really messed up because it's not even giving me any internet connectivity. Even though my switch over here shows me that everything's working just fine. Alright, here comes the boot. And of course my camera doesn't want to focus. 
see if she boots off the CD or not. Whoa, that's not good. Huh, never seen that come up before. <laughs> See what it says here, elastic backtrace for CPU, kernel version. This is the Mac kernel, I don't know why this will be coming up. All right, we'll go ahead and try it one more time and see what happens. All right, take three. And this time I am going to hold down the C key. You can definitely hear the CD drive spinning up in there. Huh. Well, we definitely have some problem here, either with the hard drive or it could even be an issue with the optical drive here. So I'm going to have to research this out a little bit and uh, I'll let you guys know how it turns out. Alright, so I did some more digging into my archives and I came across this original OS X Tiger with the Xcode 2, so I think I'm going to give this one a try because the other two discs I had were burnt copies of torrents that I had downloaded years ago. So let's go ahead and give this disc a try and uh, see if we can boot off that. I had no luck booting off of the uh, Derek's boot and nuke because that was my other idea of maybe trying to format, low level format this hard drive, see if that got rid of some of the errors, but it would not boot off of this either, so I'm thinking there might be an intermittent issue also with the optical drive. I'm going to go ahead and give this one a try though. If it doesn't boot off an original Mac disk, then there's definitely something wrong with that disk drive. We'll see what happens. All right, so just for the heck of it, I tried a different mouse, thinking maybe either the keyboard or the mouse was the problem. Check it out, guys. It is now booted into the Mac OS operating system setup desk. I'm going to go ahead and try to go in there and see if we can actually reinstall the operating system, because I don't want all the stuff that she had in there. Hmm. That's interesting. Take a look at that, guys. Software cannot be installed on this computer. I might have the wrong version of the uh, OS X disk in here, so I'm going to try the other one because thinking that disk was bad, I went to yet another one, but the one in here is a Tiger disk that's specifically for an iMac G5. So I'm going to try that other disk again, and we'll see what happens. All right, I think we finally have some success here. After a whole bunch of troubleshooting, I have determined that the problem was this POS keyboard. There's either some short or some incompatibility in here which was causing the CPU to stop before the system would even boot um, if I was to reinstall the operating system. And this was actually preventing it uh, booting up properly, period, because as you saw before, it would eventually boot with this on, but it would just go into safe mode. So what I did is I pulled out this Logitech uh, keyboard-mouse combination that I picked up at the uh, same garage sale today, and sure enough, seems to be working just fine. Now this is really cool because it's a mouse and a keyboard all in one, so I'm just going to use this on here for now. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and install a new version of OS Tiger, that's 10.4. If I remember correctly, you have to go into Utilities. It's been a long time, folks, so forgive me if I make a mistake here. So we click on the 55 gigabyte or 60 gigabyte hard drive. We go to Erase, and we're going to go ahead and use the journal, that's what you want to use. And I'm going to go ahead and title this, uh, let's see, Mac OS, actually we'll make that a capital to OS X, and we'll call this, uh, we'll just call it what it is, 10.4. 
and I'm going to install the OS 9 drivers. That's just in case I want to install the uh, classic OS later on. And we'll go ahead and click Erase. And it's asking me, are you sure you want to go ahead and do that? And I'm going to say yes. Uh, in this case, I don't really need to repartition the drive. I just want to make sure that it is properly formatted and ready for the new installation. Which, as you can see, it is. My new uh, name is up there, Mac OS X 10.4. So the drive is now formatted and ready for the installation. So go ahead and click the red X up here. And go ahead and continue. Of course, you always have to agree you're signing your life away whenever you do that. <laughs> Ah, oh, that's what I wanted to see. A green arrow on this drive, which is the only one in here. And we'll click on it. And yes, that is what I'm going to install. But first, a little trick when you're doing this uh, uh, Mac OS X installation. If you click Options, um, you can go in and you can change different things. Like in this case, we're going to install Mac OS for the first time. You can do an archive install if you say you had an old operating system on there that wasn't functioning properly but you wanted to save all of your personal data, you would choose that option. And of course the last one is erase and install. That completely erases the destination volume that installs a new copy of the Mac OS. Since we've already formatted, we don't need to do that, so I'm going to just keep it on the Mac OS X install. Go ahead and click next. Now here, I'm going to go ahead and click Customize, because there are a few things we don't actually need. Um, I don't need the printer drivers, because this OS is so old, if I do wind up hooking a printer up to this, I'll go to the manufacturer's website and get the driver. And we also don't need language translations, because let's face it, all I speak is English, and that's all I'm probably going to speak for a long time, <laughs> unless I decide to learn Spanish again. So that right there saved me almost 3 gigabytes. And that doesn't seem like a lot, but remember, this is only a 60 gigabyte hard drive, so every little bit counts. I'm going to go ahead and click Install, because we're done. Now it's going to go ahead and check the DVD. I know this DVD is good, so I'm just going to go ahead and skip that. Plus, if there is a problem, I don't care. I'll just go ahead and reinstall the operating system. So I'm going to let this work. And when it's completed, we'll, s we'll see how it's running. All right. Well, that installation went well so far. Right here, right now, I'm, it cannot identify my keyboard. That's because it's a Logitech and not a Mac keyboard. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. It's going to ask me to, of course, hit the key right next to the left shift, which in this case is the Z. This could ask me to hit the one to the right. Uh, to the, I'm sorry, to the right of the shift, now to the left of the shift. <laughs> go through all of these and then we'll see if the installation completes properly. All right. And it is booted up. Awesome. Now the one thing I'm kind of curious about is if I'm actually getting an internet connection now because as you remember I wasn't before. So let's try and do some updates real quick and see if uh, anything comes up close that out. It's very hard to do this left-handed and on a touchpad. Looks like it's trying. And as you can see, the switch is definitely working now. All right. And I would call this a success. As you can see, uh, the internet is definitely working. So I'm going to go ahead and install these first two updates, which the first one is a Java update. And the other one is just a Mac combined update, which should bring it up to 10411. And that should work, because I did not put a password in there. I have to agree and sign my life away. All right. So I would call this a successful installation. Thank you guys for coming along on this uh, adventure with my new iMac G4. Definitely look for more videos about this computer coming in the near future. Please remember to like and subscribe. And as always, have a blessed day, everybody.